Now, can I, I put something else on the plate that just interests me personally. The movement through the 19th century of art, so to speak. As I follow the music going into the 19th century, if I take orchestras out of the 18th century and they come into the 19th century, the music halls get bigger, the concert mm -hmm. halls yep. get bigger, yep. the number of instruments in the orchestra yep. gets bigger, the mm -hmm. violins get bigger because yep. they're looking for power yep. and sound. And there's a gearing towards power and size, a bit like a rock concert now, that the 19th century symphony is so exciting because it was 120 pieces well, of the orchestra yeah. and they make these big sounds. And when I hear that music now, I hear this love affair with bigness, mm -hmm. the same as the dreadnought battleship ships got yeah, bigger yeah, and yeah. bigger. And in drama, too, in the melodramas, you're talking about increasing power of size. Yeah. Theatres are bigger. Theatres are bigger. They hold larger and larger audiences, and you have to reach out to them. It, it's, it's, the emotions have got to be huge. That's what you go to the theatre for, to celebrate the power of human emotion. That's what it's for. We don't go to pick away at little psychological troubles. <laughs> No, no. I call those plays of personal psychology. Yep, yes. And they belong in small boxes yep. which should be kept in the back of the cupboard. Yes, precisely. And God, we've been through 40 <laughs> years. Indulged in one at a time. <laughs> one person at a time. Yes, exactly. And those plays of personal crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> and there are the boxes just behind those boxes. That's right. I like That's to keep right. those at the back of the yeah. cupboard. But you are in tune with the times because there is a reaching for larger forms. I think so. Reaching to opera. Yes, right? yes. Reaching to Look how opera's making an enormous comeback. Yeah. And modern yeah. operas are being written. Yeah. Yeah. One on Dead Man Walking. An opera, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Sure. And a good one. And rock concerts. And rock concerts. And Celine Dion. Yes, yes. These yes. are all, I mean, Celine Dion is, a, for me, is a 19th century performer. Yeah. In terms of what she, not in a derogatory sense, but mm -hmm. in terms of her reach, yeah. her accessibility of large emotion. Sure. Um, and rock spectaculars. Yeah. yeah. They've gone from being rock concerts to rock mm -hmm. spectaculars, spectaculars with the fireworks, yeah. with the lighting, yeah. with throwing more and more moreness yes. into them. And they're, they're addressing bigger and bigger issues. Right. It's not just, you don't love me no more. It's, it's about much bigger things. So intellectually speaking, th this is a reaction to the nitty gritty, let's talk about personal psychology, let's have a yes. small play in a small room exactly. with no costumes. It's exactly. terribly yeah. naturalistic. And yeah. Now, it's inopportune because we're in a period of economic downturn. Who can afford the bigness that we're all wanting? We thought a while ago there was going to be a huge Meyer Bear revival, but then uh, um, a, um, a recession came in and nipped that in the bud. We got a few things out of it, right? But uh, but no, I mean these things go in cycles. I mean we we keep reacting away to something the opposite of what we've just been doing, and I think these big things will come back. Now let me ask a naughty question. Here we are, 120, we're now in uh, 22 to 12. We're in 104 years from now, and you are a teacher. And <laughs> I you could are, be. You are teaching the acting style of 2009. Mm -hmm. So you have to take a play by Judith Thompson, and you have the students, and you have to teach them with the dance, the song, the music, the mm -hmm. literature, the architecture, the costume that world of 2009, how would you do that? God knows. I would have to go right down to minimalism, I guess. I'd go right back to utter simplicity. I mean, it would have to depend on what was prevalent, the prevalent um, idea then. Yeah. Where would I be taking them from? to get them to that. Uh, you know, I think Thompson at her best is not so damn small either. Yep. She has her marvelous moments. Um, a really fine presentation, uh, you know, production of some of her work is 
Very, very powerful. A few quick personal questions. What's your favorite style? My favorite style? Acting style. Period. Oh, I suppose it's the restoration. It's, it's the most expansive, uh, unapologetic, pure, It, it demands most, I think. And you're more a Restoration person than a Shakespearean person or a Jacobean person? I would never have believed so, because Shakespeare is my god, and I, was, I always have thought of myself as a Shakespearean. But yes, I think maybe 17th, 18th century are styles of immense grace and uh, form and charm and beauty. You know, that's, that's the crust over the squalidness of all, those, of all of those periods. But, yeah. I, because, yeah, I was in a show, I was in She Stoops to Conquer once, playing Hastings, in a little theater group uh, in my early, early years, when everything was amateur here. We didn't have a prof profession here at all. But I was playing Hastings in a production of She Stoops to Conquer. And when I saw the clothes, my whole body changed. Again, it's one of these instinctual things. I have no idea how to explain it. My entire body changed. And I came out onto the stage, and I took up a position with my weight on my left foot, and my right foot was extended and pointing into the instep of my weight-bearing foot. And it was just what the costume was making me do. And the director, bless her heart, who didn't necessarily know very much about period styles, said, Peter, you, you always stand with your, you wait on your one foot and your other foot's stuck out like that. Try not to do that, it looks, it looks um, artificial. Who was the teacher? Oh, she wasn't the teacher. She no. was just the director of the uh, of this little group. A lovely woman, right? She's wonderful. But I thought, well, all right, but this is right. This is. I'm doing. I know this has to be right. And later, when I was working with. Marshall, there it was. Right. I've been doing it all my life and didn't know it. <laughs> was I there then? 